We had reported yesterday that the DRDO has floated fresh tenders for the manufacturing of six crew band ACE seeker for the Astra Mark 1 missile, that will improve the detection ability of the missile by replacing the present crew band RF seeker, after it completes a series of trials by the Indian Air Force. New reports indicate that the crew band ACE seeker has a lock on range of 13 km for a 5 square meters radar cross section target and it can perform real-time target detection and tracking. The crew band ACE seeker also has a narrow target acquisition beam with robust electronic counter-countermeasures capability, that gives the missile an improved ability to launch the missile in lock-on after launch mode. A Greek media has reported, that Greece and India have two common enemies Turkey and Pakistan, that is why both the countries need to work together in the field of information exchange and in the field of defense, and equipping the Indian built Pramos air launched supersonic cruise missiles on the Greek Rafale fighter jets could change the course of things, and would cause panic in the Turkish Air Force. It also reported, that the Greek Air Force is likely to test the Rafale with the Brahmos missile, and the US will not bring possible obstacles in the deal, due to the rivalry between India and China. It also reported, that Turkey is trying to steal the secrets of the Rafale aircraft with the assistance of Qatar, as 36 Rafale fighter jets of the Qatari Air Force and 250 soldiers will be stationed at Turkish military bases for five years, during which they will use the Turkish airspace for combat preparations and training. Based on the existing contract between Hindustan Aeronautics and Nigerian Army for imparting Phase 1 flying training, six Nigerian Army aviation officers were formally inducted into the Rotary Wing Academy of Hindustan Aeronautics. Nigeria had already expressed interest in the light combat helicopter, and India is also in talks with certain countries in Africa for possible export of the indigenous light combat helicopter. The Simulator Development Division of the Indian Army has released a request for proposal for the development of exoskeleton weighing less than 25 kg, that will feature titanium aluminium alloy and carbon fiber as its key materials, and can be powered by rechargeable lithium-ion battery. It can support load of 50 kg at speeds of 5 km per hour, and will feature various sensors and a custom artificial intelligence-based anti-gravity module. The system level integration will be done by Simulator Development Division jointly with the selected bidder, while the fabrication work will be undertaken with the active participation of Tier 2 and Tier 3 suppliers and vendors. The exoskeleton will have one hour of endurance, and can be charged via a docking station, and can be enclosed in an all-weather rugged case. The final user trials will be conducted within eight months after the design process has started, and the exoskeleton could be in operation in the next two years. The Indian Air Force has sought to purchase 10 anti-drone systems from Indian vendors, and has floated a request for information to procure a multi-sensor anti-drone system that is capable to detect, track, identify and designate hostile drones, and target them with radio frequency jamming and a laser-based kill mechanism. The Indian Army Chief has arrived in United Kingdom on an official four-day visit, during which he met with UK's Chief of Defence Staff General Nicholas Carter, and they exchanged views on bilateral defence cooperation. The Indian and British government are currently in discussions about defence partnerships and sharing of expertise in four key capability areas, that include cyber security, army modernisation, maritime technology, and future combat air systems. India and UK are also collaborating to jointly develop a 110 kN class jet engine, and has also offered the Star Streak Close Range Air Defense System under Make in India. China's second aircraft carrier was captured in satellite images, which showed huge cracks on its flight deck. 
Chinese Navy was conducting a series of combat exercises in the South China Sea in May 2021, as the crew and pilots are still not combat ready, and it is likely that the damage was caused by the troublesome J-15 carrier born fighters flown by inexperienced pilots. China is also working on J-15 successor due to high crash records of the aircraft.